Oh, this is gonna be good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. One of the baddest dudes to ever play the game. The first two-time NXT champion. A world-traveled, world-class competitor. One of the most well-rounded athletes sports entertainment. The monster among men is here. And his opponent. Weighing in at... Matchup set to get underway, and this is going to be a good one. And from what we understand, Corey, we're going to be joined by a very special guest superstar on commentary, and here they come. I couldn't be any more excited to get this superstar's point of view on the competition. I'll tell you what, the superstar inside the ring better keep their eyes on their opponent. Yeah, indeed they better, because... That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Up and oh, what a buster. This might be it. Oh, my. What a stomp. Good grief. Samoa Joe looking a little startled right now. He looks to be a little surprised right now. Hey, you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. I know it's somewhat early still, but Oof. this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. You know, guys, it's not uncommon for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium, but when it comes to Braun Strowman, there is no more fitting moniker than the monster among men. So it's kind of like when they call you JR Jr., right? Uh, I've never heard that one. Oh, what impact. Cover here. Ron Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller Big Show. I mean, at one point, Strowman threw Show right through a steel cage. Splash! Head scissors applied. And, oh, oh, look at this. You know, Corey, you and I were talking earlier about how Samoa Joe has almost cost men their careers. He's a threat to every superstar's health. And I understand Joe's role to be the top guy in this company. How he goes about it is not for the faint of heart. He doesn't just try to beat you. He tries to put you on the shelf. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Scoop slam! Samoa Joe with his back against the wall. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Joe is rolling, and he doesn't have an answer for him. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. He's capable of turning it on, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fade fast. Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. A knee drop. A knee drop. Down to the floor. He knows he's in trouble. 
He better stay right where he is. Uh -oh. Suicide dive. Byron, he looks like he has no idea where he is. Yeah, he is definitely on Dream Street, Michael. Oh, right in the face. Destroyed. He's capable of turning it on, but he's got to make sure he doesn't fade fast. Close line. He wants no part of the outside. Look out, Braun Strowman is measuring. Here we go. Here he goes. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. And some trouble here now for Samoa Joe. Tonight may not be his night, guys. WWE.com poll had him as the overwhelming favorite leading into this match, but he's definitely not looking like a great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Beautiful technique. Not sure how much more Strowman can take. He may very well be running on instinct right now. I'm not used to seeing this. But an uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. No luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. You've got to believe this one's over. He misses the dive. And unfortunately for him, there was no water. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh boy, he is rolling. And if he hits this, this one's over. Man, what a slam. I don't remember the last time. And this has got to be it. Two and an ear fall. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. Samoa Joe is looking to end this thing. Counter here. When this guy's on, look out. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. No, he releases the hold. What in the world is he thinking? Does he not want to win? So, two. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. He's lining him up. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh, boy, he is rolling. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Ooh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. Boom! Oh. <laughs> uh, setting him up in position here on the second. Big time impact from way up high. You simply can never count out so much. Shoulders on the back. One, two, and he got a near out of it. Yeah, even now, Strowman has the strength and will to out. He's got him down. Is this it? He's got to be running on empty at this point. So resilient. No, he reverses it. Gonna lock it in here. Nice job breaking out of that one. But there's plenty more work for him to do here. I 
That's how you wear down your opponent. Ooh, what impact. The running senton. Crushing impact. The running senton. Crushing impact. Beautiful senton. He thinks he has it. One, two. Too close for cover. Yeah, even now, Strowman has his strength and will to power out. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Whoa, it's another reversal. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Here it comes. He's got him. Lands this, and he is done. Man, oh man. Incredible. This one's over, guys. He gets his shoulder up before three. Yeah, even now, Strowman has the strength and will to power out. Setting him up in position here on the second. What a scary drop. But can he follow up here? And he goes for the pin. Two. Wow, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. As a former strongman, I'd expect nothing less from Braun. The running senton. Crushing impact. He's making a statement here with this attack. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. Oh, a debilitating elbow drop. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Harsh impact. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. There's the pin. One, two. True testament to grit. Amazing. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Both these superstars appear to be operating on fumes here, guys. Nailed it. And the slam. Set him up. Side rushing leg sweep. Oh, ho, ho. perfect form. Look at that. This could be it. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. There it is. It's locked in. Smart maneuver. Look at Braun Strowman stalking him. Counter here. He gets it with a reversal. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. Things just went from bad to worse for Braun Strowman. He had it locked up and made his opponent tap out. The superstar. No, 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 no. An attack from behind. Completely blindsiding this superstar. Come on now.
no luck against Joe there. Uh-uh. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Vicious attack. This might be it. Oh my. Fine uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Thunderous slam. Wow, what a gritty performance. Oh, man, Roman Reigns doesn't even know where he is. Samoa Joe is looking to end this thing. Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! Kohina Clutch! This one's over, Byron. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. If I was Joe, I'd stick to performing and stop the showboat.